Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here, April 28 of 2020. Uh, still interesting updates on our SARS CoV 2 circumstance. You know, we know this concept of the 100 year storm. We had a 100 year storm last year in Houston. Uh, this could be a 100 year pandemic kind of like the 1918 Spanish flu, but very, very fortunately, we've learned a lot in the last 100 years. And let's really look at the science of what we've learned. So how can you survive and thrive a 100-year storm uh, in that circumstance? This is a picture of Houston, Texas. Less than two days later, just, you know, I don't know, 50-something inches of rain fell. Uh, absolutely a record. So if you're in harm's way, hey, you might want to leave harm's way. So this hits the coast of Texas. So it makes sense that the coast of Texas would head for higher ground, but you know, how about Oklahoma or how about uh, Missouri or how about North Dakota? Those people that far away from the eye of the storm, do they need to do shelter in place and, and go to high ground? Well, the answer is obviously no. But another storm, this was Hurricane Ike, September 2018, that hit basically the Texas and Louisiana coast again. This was a single house standing where others weren't. And what did this house do? They built a solid foundation. So keep in mind who's really being uh, hit by this COVID. It's people that are elderly, right? 79.5 uh, average age of death in Italy, uh, 81 average age of death in Massachusetts, and 97.5% plus had something else going on in their body, some other circumstance. So this was Louis Pasteur, the father of the germ theory of disease. And what did he say on his deathbed? He said, I was wrong. The microbe is nothing. The terrain, the environment of the body is everything. So the storm is nothing. The foundation of the structure is everything. So we look at the death rates, and we've been tracking this since 1950. Very smooth curve. This was the end of 2019, 7.579 per thousand with a projected upswing into 2018. So here's the data up to today. Here's our world population. Here's how many days are in the books. Uh, here are how many deaths we have to date. Uh, and this is what was actually uh, projected. And what do we see? These numbers are very, very close. Now I use the projected number 759 per 10,000. Where are we at? We're at 760 per 10,000. Do you see that this curve goes up a little bit? Maybe I'll believe it, even blow that up next time. But what you're going to see is we're right on track. So the economists will say that this virus isn't causing us any more deaths globally. It's just causing us to recategorize. Look at Italy. I shared that the other day. 88 out of 100 deaths uh, that were not corona deaths were cal uh, categorized as corona deaths. Why? That's a really good question. So Cochrane Library, uh, this is something that does system, systematic reviews of lots of publications. They looked at over 3,700 titles, uh, looked at 215 studies, and what did they find out? Social distancing does not work as an effective strategy to prevent the spread of respiratory viruses. Very important note, we have looked at this time and time again, social distancing doesn't work. What else did they find out? Well, the use of vaccines and antiviral drugs that say may be insufficient. Well, let's just think about that for a moment. Do, do vi antiviral drugs prevent the spread? No, you've got to have it for an antiviral drug to be effective. How about vaccines? You have to know what you're vaccinating against. This virus has already mutated, well-documented, more than 30 times since January. Uh, are they changing the vaccine every month? And by the way, if you have a solid foundation of health, do you want to inject toxins in your body? And look at what's in the vaccines. Is it just an attenuated virus or dead virus? Or do they have other things in there that are known toxins to humans? That's a good question that you need to answer for yourself. I've answered that question for myself. And let me tell you something. I wouldn't inject this in my worst enemy. Uh, now, what did they did find work? Hygienic measures like hand washing. Imagine that, washing your hands could be life-saving. Hey, look, we've known that for well over 100 years. Washing your hands is good. So this is a doctor out of California. Uh, what they said is when they're putting shelter in place, 
basically people are locked in their homes. They don't have an income. Uh, they can't entertain themselves. They have all access to alcohol, right? Because that's considered essential. And, you know, people that use drugs probably are going to use drugs. And what are they seeing? Substance abuse, domestic abuse, and child abuse at much higher levels. Look at this YouTube video uh, and, and think about that, right? I, I certainly hope you're in a happy home that honors everybody there. But there's a lot of desperate people that, you know, maybe aren't well mentally. And, and things aren't going well in their households. What did they also find out? If you put people in isolation, you actually weaken their immune system. We are all stronger together. Now, if someone is in a hospital ward, hey, isolate them. But in a community, that doesn't work. The data shows that doesn't work. So what's our final principle here? Well, we wanna, in really tough times of change, go back to solid principles and you wanna build a solid foundation. You know, the phrase is build your house on the rock. Well, what if you build your house on the sand? I showed you that hurricane picture, not a solid foundation, your house crumbles. How do you build a solid foundation in your life? Well, in terms of health, you eat right, drink right, think right, move right, sleep right, poop right, talk right every day. Poop right, by the way, that's internal hygiene as well as external hygiene. Uh, and then we're mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, social, financial, impactful beings. You build every area of that in your life. That's, that's just the advice there. Be a solid human. Contribute to the solution, not to the problem. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.